Hey there, Cherie here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm here to share with you all five more sewing patterns that I plan to use this fall and winter to make some new tops for my handmade wardrobe. My last video that I shared, um, I included five easy beginner friendly tops to make for fall and winter that used woven fabrics. Today's video I'm going to share again five easy beginner friendly patterns but this time they're going to be using knit fabrics so if you're interested in seeing what i pulled uh, as far as patterns go as well as the fabrics that i intend to sew them up with stay tuned all right friends so let's get into the very first pattern that i've chosen this is the green style cambria top and as you can see here on the cover it comes, uh, you know, it's a basic top pattern coming with some sleeve and some neck as well as some waist uh, band variations. This was a PDF download that I ordered. I actually bought this last year and I printed it out last year and I never sewed it. So I'm going to sew this this year. This is the very first pattern that I've ever bought from this company. The website is greenstylecreations.com. Uh, yeah, and you know, you can check it out, see if they're, they have a lot of um, like sportswear, fitnesswear kind of uh, exercise clothes patterns and some other things. But I'm all about these kinds of tops. And I bought it last year when I was uh, doing my fall uh, wardrobe because um, if you've been with me, you'll recall that I wanted to add a lot of tops to my um, wardrobe and I ended up using some other patterns a McCall's pattern I think a simplicity pattern but anyway um, I'm going to use this this year because I bought it and I need to use it so this will take a little bit because I got to tape all these pages together and I'm just going to tape them all together and get them cut out and have it at the ready and right now I've pulled two different fabrics that I am thinking about using for this let me show you So the first fabric that I pulled, this is a 100% cotton uh, stretch jersey. And I just, I love this kind of, it's almost like a periwinkle kind of blue, a dark periwinkle blue. I really love it. Um, and so, yeah, I'm going to make one in this one. I'm thinking about doing just the basic uh, t-shirt one with the gathered sleeves uh, for this top. For this fabric rather and then for this puckered knit i think i'm going to do this view here with this bishop uh sort of sleeve but i'll probably make it straight at the uh, waist hemline as well um so i'll probably do a combo of these two using this fabric i i chose this one because first of all i just have a lot of this fabric i got it on sale and uh yeah i wanted to have something that was maybe a little bit dressier looking than like a basic t-shirt and so this will be a fun fabric to use to test out this pattern like i said i've never sewn anything from this company before so it'll be i'll probably sew this one first since i have so much of the fabric in case i you know have to alter some things or recut some things based on fit but should be very straightforward definitely a beginner friendly uh knit top so again this is the green style cambria top from greenstylecreations.com. All right, the second pattern that I pulled is this simplicity pattern. Uh, let me actually get this out to give you their true number. This was a display pattern. So this is simplicity 9451. Um, and you can see here, this is a pattern for a really lovely, a little bit more dressy uh, knit top. Um, I love all the views and will probably eventually make all the views. Um, but to start off with, I'm thinking I'm going to make view C and view D. So let me show you the fabrics that I pulled. I pulled these two solid color knit fabrics from my uh, fabric collection uh, love this shade of green and i also love this kind of oh this is like a orangish red 
really, really pretty. Uh, let me see if it has the name of the color on here. I definitely got both of these fabrics from Fabric Mart Fabrics. It's calling it a fire brick red. Um, and this is a four way stretch. Uh, seconds called second skin fabric and I have a good amount of it so I'm going to use that I think it's going to have a really pretty drape um, to it you know for this little front drape uh, line here and then this green again it's just a really gorgeous emerald green a little bit of a blue tone to it and then again I pulled this green this is actually a matte jersey ity knit fabric again really just a beautiful color and uh, going to just be great for fall and I'm thinking that I will probably use um, the brick red for the one with the straight sleeves and then the green for the one that has the elasticized sleeve um, I might go ahead if I really love these I might go on and make the short sleeve kind of shell one also with both of them, because these are two fabrics that I have plenty of fabric of, and I really do want to work my way through all these knits that I've been collecting. If we look at the back of the pattern, the fabric suggestions for all the views are stretch knits, interlock, jersey, ITY, bamboo knits. Um, you need to have at least a... Well, it doesn't say the percentage, but it has a little stretch uh, guide on here. And as far as your notions, other than your thread, for view B, you will need some single fold bias tape. I'll probably make my own. And then for view D, I'm going to need 7 8 yards of a quarter inch wide elastic for uh, my sleeve cuffing. And then the back closes with a button on all the views, which is a little curious to me because, I mean, it is a stretch knit, but I'll probably go on and, you know, make it that way. Um, I could, if I wanted to, probably open up the scoop neckline a little bit if I needed to. I feel like the four-way stretch has so much stretch. I could probably avoid doing that button. Um, but I don't know. We'll see. This will be a, a fly of the moment kind of decision for me as to if I will exclude that. I would really love to cut that on the fold, right? Um, and not have that seam down the back, but we'll see. I really like the front uh, of this top though. And so, yeah, I'm looking forward to sewing that up. So this is my option number two. Oh, and I should say that this pattern comes in sizes six through 22 um and anything else important to share no that's pretty much it the maximum amount of yardage you need for the largest size with the long sleeve is one and five eighths yards so only giving you the yardage requirements for 60 inch wide fabric um but it doesn't use a ton some for a lot of the views like view a you need one yard or a little over a yard so this that would be a great scrap buster um, project to use too. I might look through my basket of knits where I have like a yard, yard and a quarter and might whip up more of those. It's just a great basic top to have in the wardrobe. The next pattern, the third pattern that I pulled is this Simplicity 8738. This was one that I was supposed to sew last year when I was again doing a bunch of my knit top patterns but I got so into the ones that I was using and made multiple of those <laughs> and then I you know I kind of moved on so I have pulled this one to finally sew up this year um definitely doing the turtleneck um I kind of like the long length but we'll see I'll probably make it long and then if I feel like it's hitting me at a funny place you know I might shorten it a bit um this is something that I'm planning to have this is a cozy kind of turtleneck sweatshirt kind of deal, lounging around the house, hanging out in the sewing room, etc. just to keep me warm and cozy. So I definitely want this uh, nice plush uh, turtleneck feature. You can see here the sleeves are kind of long. Um, I might 
adjust this and put like a little band there so that it does come in a little tighter. I like to have things a little tighter at my wrist, um, but that's really it. Um, it has some other views. I don't think I would ever make any of those with like the ties on the sleeve and the crop length, but it is cute. I could see this being cute for a lot of people, um, but I'm really only interested in view B. And if you look here, well, I guess view A is the same as view B, just even longer. That might even be a tunic which could also be really fun to have lounging in the house just with some leggings on. So I'll check that out because the fabrics that I've pulled, you'll see I have plenty of the fabric for those. So let's see, uh, let's look at views A and B because the only difference there is the length. This pattern comes in an extra, extra small to an extra large and it's calling for stretch knit fabrics, suggesting double knits, rib knits, stretch velvets, sweater knits and sweatshirt fleece um view b with the tabs it has some other things you can use denims and twills and things like that as far as the notions go it's calling for thread as well as some clear elastic and then i don't need to worry about anything else with views a or b and then if i look here at the fabric yardage requirements for view a okay it's calling it a mini dress Okay, so I might do one of my versions as a mini dress. I like the idea of that with some leggings. Um, I'm going to need around two yards of fabric, 60 inches wide. And then for the tunic, same thing, just under two yards. So the maximum you need, which is for a tunic B, which has the ruffles for the largest side size, you're going to need two and three yards of fabric. But for most of these, um, and all the sizes you're gonna need around two yards or less. So it doesn't take up a ton of fabric, which is nice. And so this is one of those ones, I, I definitely will have to measure the pattern. You can see here on the screen, um, it is giving some of the information for the finished garment, the back, uh, with things like that, uh, the length. But I am, um, it actually gives the bust and the length and it's made to be pretty oversized i find that sometimes these things just they just swallow you they're so big and so i definitely will be measuring on the actual pattern piece because i know how much ease i want to have and then based on my bust measurements and my hip measurements i will make uh any adjust uh, adjustments that i need to just so this isn't like so so you know big and so let me um, show you the fabrics that I pulled for this one. All right, so the first fabric that I pulled, this is a brown cotton knit fabric um, that I actually, I think I got this at Joann's and I got this at Joann's or Fabric Mart, I can't remember, um, but I got a lot of it because it was on sale pretty inexpensively. I wanted to add a little bit of brown to my fall wardrobe just to play around. I don't typically wear a lot of brown um, because it's so close to my skin tone. I don't find that, you know, it really like brightens me up that much. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and use this because I have plenty of it. It'll be a good test for me to see how I like this color, um, you know, up against my face. I wear brown at the bottom, but I don't unless it's a suit. And I haven't worn a brown suit since the 90s. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I think uh, I'm going to give this a whirl. I really like the fabric. I want to use it. I have it in a black, but I'm going to save that for something else. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and use this brown up. And since I have enough of it, I'll probably make the tunic. Well, I don't know. But I definitely want to, in addition to making this, just make some basic leggings. And uh, I already know the pattern I'm going to use for that. And yeah, and basically we'll just turn this into kind of a loungy uh, at home chill outfit, but it has that turtleneck to keep me nice and cozy. And again, just really wanting to use up these lovely fabrics that I purchased. So that's option number one. And then option number two, I decided to go the opposite, bright. And this is another fabric that I bought I actually really love this uh, orange color. 
It's not something that I wear a lot of, um, like outside, but I think this will be fun uh, to make up again since the intention is that this is really more for indoor kind of loungy wear. This is called Salamander Orange Rayon Nylon Lycra Ponte Knit. It's by the designer Millie, 52 inches wide. Um, and I got this at Fabric Mart Fabrics. And I mean, it's just an incredibly gorgeous quality fabric. And I like this. I chose both, both of these because they're a little bit more of a stable knit. And so I feel like it won't look quite as like slouchy and sloppy, um, especially around the turtleneck area. I want it to really, um, you know, hold its shape and stand up uh, the way it is pictured. And so I wanted to use something that was a little bit more stable and hoping that I can really keep that structure that I want. And again, I'm going to go ahead and use this up. Um, and so if I have enough, well, I should have enough fabric based on the yardage that I have. I probably just sneak in some leggings um, or even with this, maybe like a pencil skirt. So it's like a little uh, pencil skirt, tunic, turtleneck tunic, loungy set could be kind of cute and sporty looking. So yeah, those are the two fabrics that I pulled that I'm going to use with this pattern, which again is Simplicity 8738. Pattern number four. This is the Sew House 7. It's called the 115 to Bore V-neck. Uh, and it's a all season t-shirt and sweater pattern for knits. I think that they have now extended their sizes with the Soul House 7 patterns. Uh, my pattern is the original one that goes up from a double zero to a 20. And uh, yeah, the bust measurements, um, just so you know, I'll probably have to make, I'm guessing like the 16, we'll see, I'll measure it. Um, the bust goes from a 31 for the double zero up to a 20, uh, which is a 47 inch bust. And then I'll probably have to grade out. Well, we'll see, because the size 16 hip says it's a 46. I might have to grade out depending on which view I have to give me more ease in the hip area. Uh, that's what I'm thinking. But again, this will be the first time that I've sewn this pattern. So I'll just have to try it out and see. And again, with all of these patterns, when I do the reveal, I will let you all know, um, you know, what kind of alterations, modifications I may have done. And so looking here, it's calling for a stretch knit fabric that has a 25% uh, stretch in the length. And let's see here. It's saying for the t-shirt versions one through three, you should use a lightweight fluid knit fabric. And then for the sweater versions, views four and five, those are drafted for uh, sweater knit thicker kinds of fabric. And so, yeah, it, uh, the maximum yardage you'll need for any of these tops is a little over two yards of fabric. Um, and so it doesn't use a ton of fabric to make and then it does show the finished garment measurements on the pattern back and you can see here for example for the largest size uh, just to help you understand if you decide to get this pattern if you can fit in the smaller one or if you need the extended one I'm not sure if they combined them all in one pattern if they extended it but anyway the finished bust measurement they're saying that it's 56 inches for the size 20 and the measurement that I need to look at is the bottom opening. Okay, it says 56 inches. So, yeah, you have to just go based on your measurement. It seems like this is pretty boxy. Um, so I'll definitely probably have to cut smaller at the top um, so that I have, you know, so it's not so boxy on me. And basically doesn't, like, fall off my shoulders. So I plan on making... Um, two i want to make view a which is the long sleeve more kind of t-shirt style top and then i want to make view b 
which has the shorter sleeves. Those are my intentions. And you'll see why I want to make the shorter sleeve one. I might go ahead and make two of you a... Um, I might change, you know, I change my mind sometimes. We'll see. I have plenty of the fabric that I'm going to use um, the second one if I want to make a long sleeve one and a short sleeve one, I can because it's pretty basic. So anyway, let me show you. This is the first fabric that I pulled and I have just enough to make the long sleeve version of this. Uh, this was one of those fabrics where, I don't know, I think it was like the end of the bolt. So it's like just over a yard and a half. I love this color and more importantly, I love the texture. I think this is going to make it, you know, a not quite so basic uh, knit top. So this is the first fabric that I pulled again, definitely making the long sleeve unless I, but this fabric is pretty wide. I shouldn't have any issues uh, getting that cut out. If I do, I'll make the short sleeve. Right. And the second fabric that I pulled, this is an organic cotton knit fabric, really lightweight, drapey, has a little bit of like a pebbling kind of var variegation in there. Gives it kind of a, it's not just a flat red, but it's a gorgeous shade of red, kind of a fiery brick red. And uh, yeah, I wanna make the short sleeve top. As I said, I might make the long sleeve top with this one. And I'm gonna move on, when I move on to the next pattern in a second, I'll show you why I'm considering the short one but both would work so let's move on to pattern number five the final pattern all right so here's pattern number five McCall's 8247 this is another pattern that I was supposed to sew um, last fall and winter and I never did I'm planning on making view C the long sleeve uh, longer cut cardigan with the gathered uh, sleeve band and uh, let's go over the pattern a little bit here. You can see it does have a little bit of curvature cut into it, which I like, so it won't be uh, super boxy. Uh, that's what I'm looking for. Suggested fabrics are 35% um, moderate stretch knits, sweater knits, rib knits, cotton blends, as well as velour. As far as notions go, you're going to need half inch buttons uh, for all of the views. And it, the number just depends on which view you're going to make. I plan, like I said, to make view C, so I'm going to need six half inch buttons. This pattern goes in sizes extra small to extra, extra large. And um, just based on the finished garment measurements, I will probably make the uh, extra large, well, yeah, I'll probably cut the extra large and then I'll take in the top um, as I see fit. And I might have to grade out a little bit at the hips, we'll see. I want this to be fitted, but not super fitted. So I like the amount of ease that's shown here in this cropped version. So I'll just see how much ease is built into the long one again. As I always do, I will measure the pattern pieces as I always try to do, I should say. Sometimes I forget. I'll measure the pattern pieces and cut that out. Again, mainly because I don't want this to be like a boxy sweater. I want it to have that mild curved fittedness to it. Um, and so let me show you the fabric that I pulled. Eventually, I would like to make um, view B also. I like that length as well view a is really cute i like the collar that it they added to it i don't tend to wear uh things that hit me like right there but it's it's not bad i don't know we'll see but let me show you the fabric that i pulled so i shared this fabric in one of my fall uh winter i think last year fabric hauls that i did from fabric mark fabrics but it's a gorgeous rib knit this really kind of like dusty navy blue um, and red stripe. And I got a lot of it again because it was like on a super sale. And I didn't know what, originally I was thinking about making some kind of like turtleneck sweater dress. Um, I'm probably going to make a combo shell sweater, but I'm definitely gonna cut the sweater first. And then I'll see how much fabric I left over. And I might go ahead and make like a sweater t-shirt dress to layer on it, a layer underneath of it or whatever, we'll see. 
but that's why I pulled this red because this matches really beautifully with it. And basically I can wear this t-shirt, whether I do the short sleeve or the long sleeve underneath of it. And I think the long sleeve will still work because you can see that sleeve is really quite slender on the arm. Um, so we shall see uh, what I decide. Um, but this arm is full enough on the sweater that I should be able to layer those uh, really nicely. So that is my plan. I love this fabric. This is a cotton rib knit, really gorgeous. And uh, yeah, you guys know I don't usually do stripes, but something about this jumped out at me. I like how it's like a really nice looking quality, but also kind of sporting. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. Okay, friends, I hope you enjoyed my selections. I look forward to sharing these uh, makes with you all throughout the next couple weeks, months, as we move through fall and winter. As always, I will be sure to let you all know what kind of um, modifications I may have made um, and I'll model them so you can see how they fit. Um, really quickly, I just wanna share, this is another pattern that I'm thinking about adding on to the list because as I was making the video, I realized I've only sewn this up once and I do, I especially really love the sleeves. This was a pattern hack that I did. I will link to the video where I shared uh, this top uh, in the description box in case you wanna have a look back uh, to see what patterns I used uh, to make this top, okay? All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you back here on the channel again soon. Take care, bye.